It's Derby Day at Louisville, and a record crowd is gathered at Churchill Downs. 60,000 people are on hand for America's greatest horse race, and everyone is intent on picking the winner. And here they come, each a potential champion. War Admiral is number one. Followed by Pampoon, number 14. And now they're off. America's finest three-year-olds with War Admiral in the lead. But will he finish there? Can he stand the pace? The next two minutes, we'll tell the story. They're rounding the first turn with War Admiral still out in front. They're running down the back stretch with Pompoon making a desperate bid for first place. Here they come around the far turn and into the home stretch. War Admiral is still ahead. Pompoon is close behind trying desperately to close that gap, but he makes his bid too late and War Admiral wins. Another great horse is crowned king of the three-year-olds. And another great jockey has made history at Louisville. There's a thrill in picking the winner at the races, but it's far more important to pick the winner in the everyday decisions of life. These two pens of cattle look alike, but the farmer knows that steers do not feed alike, so his whole profit may depend on his sound judgment in selecting the winner. This business of picking winners starts early in life. Every child knows there is a vast difference in what a humble nickel will buy, and the decision that is made at the candy counter today becomes the selection of a life work, a home, or the tools of his trade tomorrow. It's the same story in buying equipment. There are many makes, many claims, many sales arguments, but which is actually better? which will prove a winner on your job. That's what you want to know, and that's the question we want to help you answer. Not with claims and argument, but with pictures on the firing line, where some of the world's hardest jobs are being done. You may not have undergrowth covering a valuable field, but if you have, here's a way to put it under cultivation. A diesel tractor and plowing disc crash through the brush, transforming an all but worthless field into valuable farmland. A Michigan farmer had despaired of getting a rich muckland field in cultivation until he got a 22 tractor and John Deere grub breaker plow. The results were nothing short of amazing. Everything but large trees was turned under on a job the neighbor said was too much for any tractor. An Arizona farmer had another plowing problem. Tough adobe soil covered with a rank growth of weeds. But a 22 and John Deere disc supplied the answer. And here's the world's hardest plowing job. In the Santa Ana River Valley of California, a flood buried fertile fields under three feet of sand and gravel. But the damage is undone by three caterpillar tractors pulling a giant plow that turns the ground to a depth of four feet, covering up the sand and bringing the productive soil once more to the surface. A Louisiana rice planter has wet fields to cultivate but he plows right down to the water's edge in his irrigation ditches with a D4 tractor and disc tiller. And when he wants to cross the ditch, there's no need to hunt for a bridge. Just lift the plow, swing the tractor around, and wade over to the other side. Then away you go down the other bank, making a hard job look easy. While we're on the subject of mud, let's not forget spraying. There's hardly an orchard where mud isn't a problem, especially in early spring. But this Michigan grower has found the answer, and he hasn't been behind on his spraying schedule since he bought his 22. There's plenty of traction in those broad tracks to carry a 400-gallon sprayer through the deepest mud and there's plenty of power in the engine to drive the spray pump through a power takeoff. A New Jersey truck farmer knows it takes a fine seed bed to raise fine vegetables, so he uses Caterpillar tractors exclusively because they literally tiptoe over the loose soil, making a perfect seed bed at a single trip. Do you have hills on your farm? Well, so has E.A. Burgess of La Crosse, Washington. He bought a D7 to conquer them. Of course, he does most of his farming on the contours, but when he wants to go up a 60% grade, he can certainly do it. 
George Caper of Hamilton, Michigan, has used Caterpillar tractors for seven years. This one knows its way around the farm so well it doesn't need a driver. The crop is celery, and the field is muck that shakes like jelly when you walk on it. But he knows he can get his crop harvested on time in spite of springy soil and heavy rains. In the Oklahoma wheat fields, they don't have muck, but sometimes they have rain at harvest time. And when that happens, there's more work for those yellow diesel tractors than you can shake a stick at. As usual, the tractors come through, even when it's so wet the combine wheels slide in the mud. A Pennsylvania contractor got onto one of those jobs where it never stops raining. It was a hard rock contract where you can usually expect the worst, and the worst is what he got in the way of work and weather. But fortunately, he had the kind of equipment that keeps everlastingly going, even when the cards are all stacked against it. So the mud and rain didn't make so much difference after all. Rain is no novelty in the Olympic Peninsula of Washington. It averages 150 inches a year there, and a good share of one year's rainfall must have drained onto this logging road. Such conditions are punishment for any tractor, but if you must conquer them, Caterpillar diesels will see you through. There is very little water in Sam Houston National Park, so a diesel tractor drags huge boulders out of the way as the first step in building a dam for an artificial lake. Another D7 handles some rough and tumble work for the United States Forest Service. New roads must be pioneered through rocky timberland in Pike National Forest. And as usual, that means a caterpillar tractor and bulldozer. High up on a narrow shelf, another bulldozer is at work, pushing steadily forward, moving a small avalanche of rock and gravel. But this is not a road building job. It's the new Denver aqueduct that must be covered deeply to prevent freezing. On another section of the same project, the water is carried in open canals, and again, diesel tractors find work to do. As usual, it's hard grinding work, this time finishing the bottom of the canals. But these machines thrive on hard work. For example, here's the fourth Caterpillar diesel ever built, still going strong after more than six years of faithful service. It has over 20,000 hours to its credit, every one of them on construction work, and most of them on 24-hour-a-day operation. Oil field men will tell you they have some of the toughest power problems in the world, and on their work, you will find Caterpillar diesels making amazing records. For example, what machine but a D8 tractor could skid this derrick across a mile of frozen prairie in eight hours? And what tractor but a D8 could haul an 80,000-pound substructure to a new location after two 10-ton trucks had failed a budget. What other machine could drag an 18-ton drilling rig onto an oil field wagon and march off with it in high gear the minute it hits the bolsters? Oil field men know that these are all jobs for a D8, the strongest, most powerful tractor in all the world. But perhaps you have dangerous work for a tractor. If so, Let's go to the top of this nine-story building and see how it's torn down. First, a D4 is hoisted to the roof. Then it goes to work pushing walls and concrete over the side. There she goes. Look out below. Spectacular? Yes, but all in the day's work for these responsive, dependable machines. Tractors world famous for their ability to work safely on the very brink of disaster. If there's a job to be done on a razorback ridge, if the grade is too steep for any machine to climb it unaided, just give a caterpillar tractor a helping hand with a tow cable and watch it get up there in a hurry. It may give you heart failure if you've never seen it done before, but the tractor crew is not afraid. They know they'll get to the top. They know they will get there in safety because they are riding a winner. You may never have a job as difficult as this. 
you may never call on your tractor for the full measure of its ability. But when unexpected rains, deep mud, steep hills, or rocky trails beset your path, it's great to know you have a tractor that will go into the thick of the fight and win. <laughs> 